Today from the balcony, John and I are going to be looking at a vintage film channel. I'm going to call it a classic, uh, a classic uh, cowboy movie called Born to Battle. Nobody yeah. you've ever heard of. Uh, and the real basic kind of stuff that early cowboy movies had that we saw on TV growing up. Yeah, yeah. And it stars two people that I've never heard of as well. Uh, what's his name? Tom Tyler. John Tyler. Uh, is the hero. That's Tom there. And mm -hmm. Gene Carney? Ca Carmen. Gene Carmen. Well, the, I, the only reason I know Tom Tyler's name is I happen to write his name down because he was the top of the, the, the uh, cast listing. And I forgot all the other names. And I only watched it a little while ago. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, it, it's interesting. Uh, this is an early cowboy. Uh, oh. Apparently, Tom Tyler made a dozen of these. He was very popular. I assume yeah. Gene Carmen was equally as popular. She's certainly pretty. And the acting in this is uh, really stilted. You know, it's like stage acting uh, for the... But that's what early movies were. Right. Um, these guys were, I'm sure, in the silent movies before they made these talkies. And this yeah. is 1935 or so. 1935, yeah. Talkies were really still pretty new. And uh, camera techniques and things like that. Um but I enjoyed, I really enjoyed this because it was such a throwback. <laughs> well, uh, the one throw, of the throw is a word I would use, um, not necessarily with word up, but <laughs> it's, it's great because it's a kind of movie that we enjoy as aficionados of, of movie making and right. TV, particularly the early days to see the development before they had all these special techniques that we yeah. take for granted now. Play, play, play the, the, the first scene here. Okay. Um, so the, the storyline is that Tom Tyler and his buddies, his three buddies are, um, they're good hearted. They're not bad guys, but they, they're, um, they're troublemakers. And so what they do, the opening scene is it looks like they're the bad guys. It mm -hmm. looks like they're attacking this buckboard, uh, with two people in it. And they, drive around it, they hoot, and the buckboard drives off and it gets out of control. With an, o Tom well, Tyler, with, with an, with an old guy and his, his granddaughter or Of a course, girl. the pretty girl. Yeah, yeah, pretty girl. So Tom Tyler, who's really a good guy at heart, breaks out of his group and he sees that they're out of control. So he races forward and he saves the day. So it, what looks like a bad group of people turns out to be good guys. He saves the day with one of the classic TV Western stunts, jumping from his horse to the team and slowing the team down. So I, I couldn't resist this show on, once it opened with this with this yeah. stunt. There he is. You, and you of had, course he meets the girl. Words, saying, you had me at the first stunt. Uh, yeah. Of course, this was, this was gold. This compared to all the other stunts in, right. in, in this movie, this was gold. But it was yeah. the kind of fair that we all remember uh, yeah. uh, from TV, the early when they replayed all these things because they needed stuff to fill in. And yeah. uh, uh, it's uh, the story development isn't anything you'd probably want to pay a whole lot of money for today. Uh, but it was classic. Uh, uh, then he actually uh, he 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 went into trouble somehow, and he was you know it's like. Uh, uh, Either you're going to jail or, or juvie. Well, or you're I'll, gonna... I'll show yeah, you that. Yeah. I'll show you that scene. Yeah. Go to, um, uh, go to. Let's see. Oh, it'll be coming up next. They go to town. They shoot up the town for no good reason, uh, just because they're wild boys, you know. But I wanted to point out if you look at the the uh, the clothing, and the hair, the girl's hair. This is 1935 hair. Mm. This is not. They didn't make any pretense about trying to replicate, you know, 1880 or something like that. This is almost a modern kind of cowboy like the Gene Autry. Remember Gene Autry Ranch, Melody Ranch mm -hmm. uh, movies? They were they were um, all set in real time. So here's the here's their second scene. And they're bad boys, you know, but they're, yeah, but, they're but, nice. and you'll also notice you'll also notice that they probably didn't have a costume department because the women, many of the women are wearing high heels in the middle of the third street. Uh, the the cuffs on the 
uh, they got probably whatever they could buy on sale so that they cuffed the, the bottom of the jeans by rolling yeah. them up about three or four times. Yeah. So they, they spared every expense. Yeah. Go to uh, go to 610, if you would. So these guys come into town and they shoot up the town for no good reason. Uh, they're not really bad guys. And you notice that, as you pointed out, Art, nobody ever seems to take their guns away. Right. <laughs> but here they've got a kind of arrested. He, Tom Tyler uh, goes into the meet the judge. And this is the pivotal scene where the, quote, bad guys have to... Um, uh, do some good work. You know, it's kind of like cleaning up the freeways if you got a park uh, a speeding ticket. So he turns into a good guy who has to help um, find out who the real bad guys are. Right. Uh, go to 1817. This is uh, there. This is not a great feature, by the way, but it's kind of fun. I love the old characters. Interestingly, none of the characters in this movie were famous character actors. They were all character actors who we never saw again. They were just uh, we they were just on the studio payroll, probably getting paid five or six yeah. dollars a month. Uh, yeah. Except except for Tom Tyler, who's probably making fifty. Yeah. Well, remember, this is not uh, a big name studio. This was a quote reliable picture. Mm. That's that's the studio. It's a reliable picture. Anyway, here's my one of my second favorite parts of the movie. The the fight, the famous barroom fight, mm. <laughs> and the, I just uh, it's so bad, you know. It could have been real, but I don't know. Now is this the um, one where where at the end of it he's sitting on the guy's chest? Uh, I don't remember to be real honest. I but, mean that was a, that uh, was a highlight. That was a highlight for me. Uh, um, go to um, twenty nine thirty five. And of course, he uh, he ends up having to work to save Gene Carmen, or whatever the character's name is. And this is where you know, they all he it's revealed that he's really a good guy working on the side of the people, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. But all in all, it was a fun picture. You know, it's a little hokey. Okay, but so so so, so, so John, I I'm going to help you with the word fun. Because I don't yeah. want I don't want you to be giving false information out uh, without a disclaimer. Okay, it's fun if you have remembrance of these kind of things from TV. If yeah, you that's enjoy true. appreciation of this, uh, I was in Knott's Berry Farm in '55, I think, uh, when yeah. well, uh, we went to see Disneyland open, and I remember we went to Knott's Berry Farm. This is what Knott's Berry Farm looked like, but there were no. Nothing modern about it. There was a, a, right. a stagecoach ride on dirt streets that went yeah. around a big loop, and every store looked like it came. They salvaged it from a ghost town. Yeah, this is what this movie. This is authentic old cowboy movie sets. It, it just it, it was for me a lot of fun. Even though, yeah. uh, let's see, what's the words I use most often? Lame. Lame. Uh, Every every <laughs> cowboy movie cliche was used in this movie. I mean, yeah. you actually have a contest to have people knock them up. And the people who sent in the most cowboy cliches that they found in this movie were the most. We're going to give them a, a free private showing of our next Vintage Film Channel review. How's that? <laughs> Is that enticing or what? Count up the cliches. But yes. uh, you know what? I loved it. I enjoyed it. So I recommend it. If maybe my thumb goes up and your thumb goes down, that's okay. No, no, no. At the worst, it's a, it's a, because again, what we're looking for here is nostalgia for us. And it certainly yeah. provided that. Uh, yeah. It's not the kind of stuff I'd want to watch 40 of them. Yeah, one will remind me about what they all looked like uh, before they got, you know, real scripts like. Even uh, when we get to Gene Autry uh, and uh, and the, the uh, Roy Rogers shows and things, they yeah. all they all had well developed scripts. This was uh, it probably took them a total of six days to crank it out uh, because this was probably. I believe it. I right. believe it. Yeah. Okay, but it, it was fun. And one of the, one of the really highlights to me of the Vintage Film Channel is where Grace digs up all the stuff from someplace. And she gets a yeah. couple of snippets of 
of long forgotten and for good reason uh, movies. She's got a couple in there that really are outstanding, but she has the stuff that we haven't seen in a long time. Movies like this, which were standard fare. And so if you want to have a good time, you want to uh, uh, watch movies in development, uh, not the best, which sometimes shows us the best of what was happening at the time. Um, it, it was a good movie from that standpoint. So, you know what? I'm giving it a thumbs up. Okay. Well, I like that. Thank okay. you. You're a generous guy, Art. Do you have, a, anyway, do you have, we'll another, see you have another clip you want me to go, go to? Come on, No, John. this is, you're, this you're is pretty much the end of it. You're the clip king. Come on. Yeah. I, I recommend that everybody go to vintagefilmchannel.com and YouTube slash Vintage Film Channel. Yeah. And watch not only uh, Born to Battle, but a lot of the other great sitcoms that Grace has found, and a lot of feature films, documentaries, things like that. All all worth watching. And and because it's important, help uh, encourage Grace to continue doing what she's doing by subscribing to the Vintage Film Channel. And because we're adorable, you should subscribe to Celebrating Act 2's uh, uh, channel as well, uh, where you're watching this wonderful review. Here, here, and right off into the sunset. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.